Hello, my name is Steve Olson. I'm the manager of training services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to take a look at a workflow that will enable me to use the geometry, the face of one piece, to then help me generate the cutting geometry for another piece that will allow them to properly mate in an assembly. So basically what I have here is a bowl or a lid to would be some sort of vessel or, or tank. And I have an I-beam here that might be what it ends up resting on. So uh, right now I've placed the beam. It's longer than it needs to be. Uh, it's passing through the piece. What I need to do is I need to then use this bowl here to help me generate a cut on that I-beam that will allow them to mate properly. Now I do want to say that this will also work well for cutting a pipe that might be running through this head. So if I need to have it mate to the inside face or the outside face, this workflow is going to work for both of those workflows. So what I need to do first is I need to edit the beam while I'm still kind of in the context of the assembly. So by right clicking on that beam, it'll allow me to go into an edit mode where I can still see the assembly there if you look at the browser, uh, I have certain geometry grayed out because it's part of the assembly. I only have what is in this part file in the browser right now. So underneath the modify menu, there's this copy object. So copy object is going to allow me to copy geometry from the assembly or from another part of the assembly into this part file. So at the top here, it's asking me, well, what do I want to, co to, to copy? Am I looking for faces or bodies? In our case, we want to copy a face. Uh, so I'm going to select the outer face of this bowl. And the lower part of this is saying, well, what kind of output do I want? I just want a surface. A key option here is the associative. The idea here is if I go back and change this bowl, is it going to then update the geometry of this cut? In our case, we do want that to happen. Uh, you might have a situation where you don't want that to happen. Just uncheck associative and it won't happen. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So now I have a surface in this model that I can use to split my beam. So I'm going to go up to my split command. Uh, it basically, uh, I want to use the trim solid option. It's asking what is my split tool or what's the surface that's going to be causing my split. So I'll pick that bowl shape. You can see here on the right hand side it's going to say well which side am I going to remove. I can pick which side it's going to remove. I want to remove the upper side. So I say OK. So now just to kind of to see what we've got going on here I'm going to return to my top level assembly and open this model in its own window again. So you can see I have this, this that beam there. I also do have that surface there. I'm going to turn that surface off so we can see the piece clearly. And you can see now that it is cut and it is mapping the contour, matching that contour of that face, which since this is in the part file, I could then do some sort of detailing of that in this part level on the drawing. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, if you have any other workflows that you need to see in Inventor, again, just let me know. Again, thank you for watching.